Hey, what's up, everybody? It's that guy, Skimpy. Hey, I was asked if um, there's another way how to paint spinner baits or buzz baits without using an airbrush and uh, without having to sprinkle uh, powder paint on there. Because if you notice, there's not really a way where you can dip it in a jar of like the powder paint and if you don't have an airbrush. Well, here's a simple way how to do it. Um, I use airbrush paint and I just use a Q-tip and I just take a little bit and I rub it on. So uh, we're gonna do the white first. You always wanna do a white uh, base coat. So we'll do this first. Let's take a little drop on the Q-tip here. And all you're doing is kind of putting, like I said, the base coat. And yes, it's not gonna get super uh, smooth and you can't get details like you would on an airbrush, but this way has still worked, especially if like you're, if you're in a rush. So, so yeah, um, I'm gonna cover the whole thing in white first. And then I'll kind of show you what I do. Like I said, first one, I just do white. And then once you put the white on there and it dries, you can go ahead and put your other colors on. So this one, I already have a, a skirt made up and it's kind of like a green pumpkin in a chartreuse type. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it, put the white coat on first. I'll let this dry and then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the majority of it this watermelon and then uh, I'm gonna paint just a little bit of uh, just a tiny bit of uh, yellow on the bottom so yeah so you can take a hair dryer or you can just let it uh, you know hang for a minute but uh, I'm gonna take a hair dryer and just dry it real quick and then uh, we can go to the next color okay so I already painted it white I used the uh, the heat gun and I, I think it's called a flash dry or something like that but um, it's all dry so now I'm gonna take this watermelon do the same thing get a q-tip and I just put it right on there so if you don't put the white coat on there first the base coat um, the watermelon won't really it'll stick to it but it won't really uh, it's really see-through so I recommend that you always use the a white coat a base coat or else you'll have to do like a bunch of different coats of the uh, the watermelon here or any other color so I'm just kind of putting it on there and if this is if you're trying to achieve like a like a, a, a lot of detail this is definitely not the way you want to go uh, like I was saying this is just for kind of like a quick a quick paint job all right that's it for the uh, the watermelon I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take the heat gun and uh, get this all dry and then uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of yellowish chartreuse on the bottom all right Okay, so got the watermelon on there, looking good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of the chartreuse right on the right on the top, to, uh, bottom. And I don't want it too crazy. So I mean, I'm just gonna kinda do just a little bit, but. Just to give it a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna uh, take the heat gun and have this dry and then on to the next step. Okay, so I want to I want to go ahead and cover it with uh, some epoxy. So I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit of epoxy here. This is some Gorilla Glue epoxy I've been using. 
I usually use the DevCon, but uh, at the hardware store down the street, this is all they had for clear epoxy saw. I've been using this. So we're just gonna mix it up. And what I'm doing, the reason I have to use the epoxy is because I have to seal it because with this uh, airbrush paint, you have to seal it or else it will start peeling off. So anyways, this is, this is what it looks like. Um, I put a little bit more chartreuse on the on the front than I wanted um, it actually took two coats when I did it the first time um, it just the green or excuse me the watermelon just seeped through so much that I, I went ahead and just did another coat still okay still achieving the look that I wanted I wanted it uh, watermelon in a little bit of chartreuse so anyways what I do is I just put a little bit of epoxy right on here because all I'm doing is sealing it I'm not putting any eyes or anything on it so you don't have to be super careful but just make sure that you cover the whole thing and then we're gonna let it dry and then we'll put the skirt on there real quick and I'll show you the look that I was trying to achieve all right guys all right so this is how it turned out doesn't look too bad like I said if you want to get a lot more detail you got to use an airbrush but for just uh, using a q-tip putting it on there doesn't look too bad so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, the skirt on so you just put the skirt on like this right through the middle gonna cut the tabs off I just used uh, two tabs it looks pretty even but just uh... so yeah so there it is. And for those who are wondering what mold this is, what mold spinner bait this is, it's actually the banana spinner jig. And I did it in the 3 8 So there it is. The banana spinner jig in three eighths so yeah so that's kind of uh the look i was going for i wanted a little bit of uh chartreuse on there not too much and uh there you go makes an awesome spinner bait um i know that it's not super detailed like i mentioned a couple times if you want it super detailed you want to use a uh, the uh airbrush and uh, this is just a lot easier than you know heating it up and then sprinkling on powder paint so if you need a, a quick paint job this is what you use and then like I mentioned you gotta uh, seal it with some uh, epoxy to make it strong so it doesn't chip all right guys um, one last thing I guess wanted to mention the blade the blade is a size five you can get everything right at dualmolds.com all right well there's the video hopefully you like the video hopefully you learned something um, go ahead and try this technique it's super easy you just need q-tips and uh, some airbrush paint and get it right from do it molds the CS coatings all right well there it is. That guy Scampy, please subscribe. Big shout out to Do It Molds. All right.